Well, they, for some reason, have turned around and are coming straight back towards us. Not that I'm complaining, because it's going to be wonderful. We're going to have Ellie's all around us shortly, and that is just the way that we like it. So I'm super happy that they're starting to come back towards us. You can see they walking with some purpose now after a good dust bathing it's back to the water and i wonder if any of them might take a little swim it's getting very warm all of a sudden the, the temperature has increased exponentially in the last few minutes and so it's almost getting to that point where we might actually see a bit of swimming behavior now interestingly enough the herd is not nearly as large as what it was in the Mulawati the other day i wonder if maybe the other day we didn't have a couple of herds all joined together and that's why there were so many of them but there certainly isn't as many as what we saw a few days ago and and that big big male that was with them for by the looks of it is not here either so it just seems like a small portion of that herd that we had and it's not uncommon to see that where elephant herds will come together for an afternoon or a day and then split apart again you sometimes do see it particularly in this time of the year when resources are a little bit more hard to come by particularly water they get to congregate around certain water sources and the herds then join and mix and match for a while and then go back to being their normal family units after a little bit of interaction it's almost like going to go see the cousins for the day and having a big family lunch and then off they go again isn't it beautiful just to watch them like i said there's that gentle morning light and a bit of dust in the air and it just feels all quite sort of sedate and calming to actually to watch them there's a bit of a mess all at the edge there that little one is <laughs> looks as though it's balancing on the last little bit of land that is available hopefully none of them decide to push it because otherwise it's going to go for a swim even if it doesn't want to look at how it throws a bit of water away so they get rid of the surface tension and then they'll start to drink Jake, you're wondering at what age elephants are fully grown. Well, Jake, elephants continue to grow throughout their life. They don't reach a fully grown. They will reach an adulthood, and generally you'll find with the, the males and females in terms of when they start to become sexually mature, is normally anywhere between 12 and, and 15 years old, but the males will only become known as an adult when they start getting over 20 years and they're actually able to start competing for mating rights. But they continually grow throughout their life so that's why those older bigger females and males become so big and bulky and get massive heads and that's all because they just continue their growth cycle throughout their life now apparently you guys are not hearing me nicely on my mic but my mic is pretty much in the same place it's been all day in fact it hasn't moved at all so hopefully it's a bit better now I've just adjusted the cable slightly is that better Alice right so I don't know what's going on with my microphone I seem to be having all kinds of issues this week we've had radio problem we've had two earpieces breaking on me it seems as though now my microphone doesn't want to work properly anyway that's the way things go and hopefully it'll be all right and you'll still be able to hear me but isn't this super peaceful look at that isn't that nice like i say that soft morning light through the trees as the elephant ambles towards us this is one of those iconic pictures of africa so for those of you who like your screenshots i would say that that is a very nice screenshot to have and one that is like i say iconic of what we see in Africa it almost reminds me a bit of Mana Pools now Mana Pools is an area up in Zimbabwe that has these beautiful big ana tree forests on the banks of the Zambezi River and the elephants meander through those forests and the light that comes through there is just spectacular so just that little section there is very unusual for us here in the Sabi Sands we don't see it nearly as much as what you would see up in Mana Pools so a nice little reminder that we can see beautiful light and trees and Ellie's walking through them. Our trees here tend to be a lot smaller, not quite as big as what you see up there. So nice when they do walk through these bigger groves of trees. There's another herd here already this morning. Cheeky geeky Beth, you say a gentle giant striding forward. Indeed, they are very gentle this morning. This herd is magnificent. I really have enjoyed spending time with them. They 
very, very relaxed and super chilled. And they just seem to meander around and not really worry too much about anything. They kind of have a bit of a drink, a bit of a feed, and there really isn't too much rush in the lives of this particular herd. They've been an absolute treat for us. And they haven't moved much at all. If you consider that in the last sort of, I would say, what are we now? Almost 72 hours, they've been in and around June and between the Mulawati and Chipta Dam. Now that area is very small for a herd of elephants. So they seem to have just been making use of all the plants and water that is around and not really rushing anywhere, which has been fantastic for us. World Elephant Day was a perfect way to end with them and Tara having to spend lots of time with them. So I'm super glad that we did get them on the day that celebrates them. Right, Seb, I think let's try see if we can't just get a little bit further forward and just see if we can't. There will be a few gremlins.